Hi, this is Brian Clark at Coast Watch Alliance. I'm a member of the Deep Dive Recovery Team at Coast Watch. This is a reconnaissance video that I shot prior to recovering a side scan sonar fish that became entangled in the Oriskany in March 2015 in the process of tying off the anchor line to the Oriskany at this point. Anchor line's all tied off, so the boat will take up the slack, and I'm headed to find the towfish cable. We tied off at the starboard fantail corner because that was the closest area to the uh, GPS coordinates that we had received. I didn't find the cable there, so I headed up the starboard side of, of the flight deck. It's about 145, 150 feet deep at the flight deck. Nice school of vermilion snapper there. Notice there aren't many bubbles. I'm diving a rebreather here. There's the cable. So the fish is obviously not on the starboard side. Uh, the, the cutoff side is in, in this direction. So. I decided to go down to the bottom just to make sure that the cable wasn't tangled up on anything on the bottom. How far into the cable is tied off to a buoy on the surface. Here's the bottom coming up, about 215 feet deep here, bottom cable long. Doesn't appear to be tangled up, so I'm going to go ahead and turn around. whining sound is the sound of the scooter motor. Send him back to the flight deck. Slowly working my way up the cable here. You can't really see it, but back in the corner there's a lionfish. It's the only one I saw on the dive. This is a lot of fishing line on this side, especially the starboard side for some reason. Tracks a lot of fishing line, anchor lines. A 
I'm just going to follow the cable across. It's going diagonally towards the front of the ship, across the flight deck. see holes that are opening up in the flight deck there. Plenty of those around. Okay, on the port side of the flight deck. And the cable dives right over. That clicking sound is me shifting gears on the scooter. Cable dives right down to the bottom on this side. That beeping sound. I like to think of that as my locator beacon in case I ever get lost down here. So headed down to the bottom on the port side. Again, about 215 feet deep here. See a little bit of debris. It's a lot darker on this side. As we're in the shade. So at this point I thought it might be tangled up in the port side prop. So I'm headed in that direction. But the cable starts to come up off the bottom. So I realize it's probably hung up higher in the wreck. Again, making a slow ascent. Although you hear the scooter running, I'm mostly just pulling myself up slowly on the cable. Not really putting any pressure on it, I'm just I'm using it to balance. So we're at about 160 feet here, um, a little bit below the flight deck. You can kind of see the side beam sticking out at the flight deck level. Headed back towards the uh, fan tail on the port side. Close to the end of the ship here. There's a fisherman. Fisherman's anchor line is over the cable. Fortunately, we're able to get everybody's line back without having to cut anything. And there's the towfish right back on this little section's jutting out. It's like the cable overlaid that jutting out piece and it kind of sucked the uh, side scan sonar fish right up into that I beam and wedge the uh, depressor ring or depressor wing um, right on the I-beam. So the goal of this dive was to do a little recon, find out where the fish was, see if the cable is entangled. Uh, so mission's complete, so I'm heading back to the uh, where we're tied off, to the back of the fantail here.
and back to the starboard side. And at the anchor line, ready to go up, I think at 20 or 30 minutes of deco after this one. <laughs> 